What's up guys and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're here at the creek at a spot that we was at just a couple videos ago to kind of do a little bit of a demonstration on the old school float and fly technique. So what I've got here today guys is just some little hand tied flies here and these are pretty much replicated to act like trout eggs or fish eggs. So we're just going to simply rig this little guy up. We're going to fish these little egg patterns around. We're going to put us on a float and we're going to do the float and fly fishing today. We should catch plenty of fish and have a lot of fun. So go ahead and stay tuned, stick around, and let's get after it. All right, guys, we've got our float and fly technique all rigged up here. We've got our little 10 head egg pattern here. We've got our float a couple feet away. We'll just simply let our little egg pattern get in the water there. Let it get moistened. We'll drop it right here. I've got a couple fish here in front of me. We'll let it get down there and we'll see what they think about it. We go oh popped off the first one we'll just let it go right back in got some more interested we'll see what happens oh popped off the second one all right same thing just drop it right back in there maybe the third time is the charm they are definitely interested there's four or five down there there we go just absolutely smoked it that was the third fish there oh popped off right there not a super not a super great hook set on these as you can see the material does cover a bit of the hook but you can typically get them pegged and keep them on. Let's make another cast right here. That was so much fun. This super bright egg pattern is getting their attention. There's three or four down there competing for it. There we go. There we go. We got one on the old egg pattern. Nice one too. It did take a few drifts with this pattern, but as you can see there, the float and fly works out just fine. Got this little beauty pegged right in the roof of the mouth there, right where you want that Right where you want that fly to be. Nope, oh, popped off in the net. Gorgeous. We'll just let her go right here. There she goes. All right, guys. So we had two really quickly on that old chartreuse egg pattern there. One popped off right at the net. We got one in the net. And we actually lost a couple there. So we'll just simply put this one up for right now. And we'll reach in here. My old buddy from the UK did send me these. And I made a video on these more in depth. So if y'all would like to see that, by all means, head down there into the description i'll leave a link for it we've got one of these little orange head with a white tail super bright colors and i do remember the last time we was here trout magnet fishing mini trout magnet fishing that is they were really enjoying the bright bright colors so we'll just tie us up this super bright color here see if we can replicate that same kind of bite today got a very similar kind of overcast situation here should be okay to get ourselves into some fish here all right, there we go. We've got our fly tied up. Just wanna give it a couple slaps around the water here just to help get it moistened. So that way it will sink. All right, we'll just make us a cast right over here. We'll allow that thing just to slowly head down there and we'll just see how these trout react to it. I'll tell you what guys, let's shorten this thing up just a little bit. There we go. Just poured a little bit of material out of that fly there, just to shorten it up. We do have a lot smaller, smaller fish in here than we would typically use for a fly that size. So we shorten it up just a little bit there. There we go. That one came over and absolutely crushed that little jerking technique there. Just giving it some jerks as it made its way across, just like you would stripping your fly rod there and that little beauty came over and absolutely smoked that old orange headed fly there absolutely crushed it guys it did want it moving and again that's why you see those fly fishermen doing that they're just imparting action by stripping that fly rod and you can do the same thing just by simply twitching your float along the surface there it does the exact same thing the bait will pop up and sink and pop up and sink and the fish just absolutely love that look it's an excellent way to trigger fish they really just want to chase something down. A couple twitches. There was our bite. There we go. Nice fish. Super nice fish here. 
Didn't even see that fish in this hole. Most of them look pretty small, but this one is quite thick. There we go. Once again, on that orange headed fly there. Little bead head fly. Really nice quality rainbow trout here. I'd say about a pound. Nice fish there. Super nice fish. Let's just let her take off right here. There she goes. All right, guys. So I say we'll just make us a few more casts. We have figured out the cadence that they want. They want a bit of a twitching pattern. Now, whether it be twitch, twitch, pause, or just a constant twitch across the pool, they do want to see it moving. They want that lifelike action. And uh, it's not really too hard to figure out. Once again, just a little bit of trial and error there, figuring out what they like, what's stirring them up and what's getting their attention. And once you got that figured out, it's pretty easy to catch the fish on flies while using spinning gear. It's not necessary to have a fly rod to get out and absolutely crush some fish and enjoy yourself while using spinning gear. We'll make us a cast right over there. We'll just let that thing start to sink. Let it get down there near the bottom. Kind of change up our cadence this cast. There we go absolutely no twitches that time and this little guy right here decided that because it wasn't running from him anymore he would go on ahead and eat it there we go another gorgeous fish right there absolutely stunning that little orange bead head right in the roof of the mouth this may very well end up being the color of the day they are biting it really well let's get you off little buddy there we go. We'll just release this one right here. All right, heck yeah. So going ahead and I guess we'll just keep this pattern going. While it's working, we'll keep changing up our cadence. We'll keep messing up things a little bit and uh, just see what happens. All right, drop us one right in here close to us. Allow that little orange bead head just to sink down there. Let it get close to the bottom. And I'm just gonna barely twitch it along here. Being sure to pay attention to that float for any twitches that I didn't create. And if we do see that, we'll set the hook just like so. I don't know if that was a trout or not. I'm not seeing any right here super close, but there's definitely something down there biting. So we'll give it a couple more casts and see if we can figure out what it is. Oh, it was a trout. Not a bad one either. This hole was loaded just the other day, but not so many fish in it today. There we go. Another gorgeous little fish on that orange bead head. They have slowed down on it quite a bit, so I think we'll change up colors, potentially to maybe something that I tied myself. The last two flies that we've demonstrated on this video though, were courtesy of old Jim from the UK. He tied those up for us, old Fritz and flies. Super thanks to him for that. All right guys, for our last fly in this little video here, we're gonna tie us up one of these little chartreuse and white gold bead head flies just a bit of a streamer kind of pattern perfect for twitching in front of these fish here slightly different color than that last one um, still kind of the same color scheme though so it shouldn't affect our bite too too much but we'll get it out here and we'll see how effective it is in comparison to that last one. Oh, we had our bite little bit late on the hook set there but we'll try again do have some smaller fish hanging out in the creek today there we go let that one hold on to it. another gorgeous little rainbow trout there we go we got that one in the net it's absolutely killing fish on the old floating fly pattern there we go let that one take off right here and that was on that old chartreuse and white gold bead head. Let's just cast it right on back in here. See if we can trigger ourselves another one. We'll let it sink down. There's our bite. There's our fish. This is a nicer one too. Seen him come over and just slurp it up with that super slow, very finessey presentation there. Oh, got her in the net. There we go. That's that chartreuse and white. 
with a gold bead head there. Mm. There we go. Let her take off right there. There we go. Heck yeah, guys. All right, so they slowed down on this particular pattern as well, but I still can see a couple fish in here and I feel like that there's a potential to catch at least one more. So let's go on ahead and reach in here. We'll go back to the egg patterns that we were using in the beginning of this video. We'll grab us out, I don't know, maybe a super bright color, like a solid white. It's got one little yellow speck there just to kind of replicate an egg. Nice bright color. And we'll see if we can't get us two more fish to end out this video. And hopefully we can do that on this particular little fly right here. And guys, all of the flies I've used in today's videos are weighted. So that kind of does help with the casting. But keep in mind that if you're using flies that are not weighted, all you need to do is simply add your split shot up your line there, a little bit away from your flies to not spook the fish. But all in all, just add you a split shot up there and the fish will still bite for you, no problem. Go ahead and drop that solid white egg pattern right over there. Instant bite. There we go. Instant bite. They absolutely like that old white color. Another gorgeous rainbow. There we go. Oh, popped off in the net just perfectly. We'll let that little beauty take off right here. Full of energy still. And on that little solid white egg pattern there. So we'll just hop back in here and see if we can get lucky and get us another one. Pop it in right there. See a couple fish, see if they'll come over to get it. Sure enough, just like that, on that white color. Now guys, that's the beauty of fly fishing. And it's just like trout magnet fishing or dough bait fishing. Sometimes just a certain color or a certain presentation, maybe even a certain depth, just turns the fish on. And it's no different with fly fishing. As you guys seen there, we switched through several different colors. Started off with one of these egg patterns and didn't really have very much success and really only thought there was a couple fish around and then we caught a few more on that old you know natural streamer looking chartreuse and orange and then as you can see here guys we got them figured out on the old egg pattern let's just grab our tin head here we'll turn it out there we go we'll just let this beauty take off right here at our feet take off girl there we go heck yeah there we go, just like that. An absolute feeding frenzy. Oh, popped off, perfect. No harm, no foul. There was another one in there competing with that one, so let's just pop it in there. See if we can get his buddy to come over. Here they come. Got him on. Got ourselves another one on that old white egg pattern once they turned on to it it's hard to get them off of it oh popped off in the net there absolutely perfect we'll just let her go right there heck yeah there she goes there we go gorgeous fish right there came over and absolutely hammered that old egg pattern all right that'll pretty much do it for the day guys if you have any questions at all about the float and fly technique that you'd like answered that's an absolute stud right there too gorgeous fish but if you have any questions you'd like answered, simply leave me a comment down below and i'll do my best to get to get your answer and, uh to get your answer back to you as quickly as i can but guys don't be afraid to get yourself some flies the next time you come across some or buy yourself a little kit and tie some up because you do not need a fly rod to fly fish. You simply can just bring out your little spinning gear here, some light line and a float, and you can have an absolute blast. But guys, get out if you can. Try yourself some floating fly fishing. But most importantly, be safe and tight lines.